juicy. Ooh, I have some juicy fruit fragrances here. I have an exciting new release. And then I have some other sort of new releases. I think they're new, they're new to me. Some affordable, some new niche, but I am super excited about these. So let's get into it. Okay, first off, Commodity just dropped a brand new release the first time in three years. This is crazy. Commodity Juice. And as usual, they have the three personal scent spaces. They have the white bottle, which is personal. That's a lighter projection. Then they have this one, which is the expressive, which is the mid-range. Then they have bold, which is the bigger projector. I actually have travel atomizers. Commodity was nice enough to send this to me for the launch, so I do have all three. Whew, I'm excited. I wore this one the other day and I wore these today. I think these are my favorite actually. So the expressive, it opens a juicy red fruit. So like I get red berries, I get some strawberry primarily, and I get rhubarb. So it's like a strawberry rhubarb where I definitely get this like fresh tartness from the rhubarb. Not quite like the like the basic Delina, the rhubarb that's in there. It's kind of like it. Like I got a little bit of reminiscence because that's another fragrance that I really smell the rhubarb in, but it's not quite so tart like it is in Delina. This was actually really good. It gave a freshness to that juiciness and then underneath is this woodiness. It's strawberry, raspberry, and rhubarb. So you definitely get this sweet tart thing, but not like sweet tart candies. It's definitely like how raspberries can have a tartness to them. And then you have that emphasized with the rhubarb and the strawberry emphasizing the sweet. Definitely getting this sweet, juicy pulp, translucent, juicy kind of thing, but you really have that wood coming up from underneath. And I, the wood that's in here, that's actually in all three, mm, the expressive and the bold. It's an interesting wood. This amber wood is almost like a toasted wood. I actually really like it. Then I wore these two today and I was like, ooh, I think I might like that even better. This one, the personal space is meant to be lighter, airier, not as big a projector, something a little more cozy. It's definitely that, it's definitely cleaner. It's more, you get that juice along with violet leaf, but it gives this clean kind of feel to it. A very clean, juicy, fresh, with a little bit not quite woodiness, but it's the violet leaf that's in there. Now the bold, I actually really liked the combination of the personal and the bold on each arm mixing in the air. It was just, it was crazy good. The bold, it's a little bit more of a jammier fruit. They say it's vetiver and patchouli. To me, it was almost like an Akigala wood. The way it was this toasted wood kind of feel to it. Not quite a clean wood not quite rooty. Man, it was really good, especially in the air. This is a really good release. I think it's gonna be popular the way milk was really popular, and then even gold, but milk was really popular. I think juice is gonna do really well. I think they, they got rid of their discount codes, which kind of stinks, but I will link that down below for the new juice. The longevity was actually quite good. I got it for the day. I actually was really surprised about the personal space too. I think they kind of were all the same and the projection was quite good on the bold and the expressive. I really got a nice sillage in the car. Moving on, um, I wanted to try, there was this whole like juicy fruits going on over at Paris Corner that I wanted to check out and uh, this one that I really needed to try. Okay, so over at Aroma Concepts, they have this batik, batik, I think, this watermelon fragrance that I kept hearing about and I was like, okay, I've got to get my hands on that. It is literally a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It is so good, but that's literally what it is. It's not complicated. It is not complex. 
It is simple, it is juicy, it is watermelon. It's kind of almost candy-like, like a hard candy. Um, could be great for layering when you wanna amp up that sweet fruit. I mean, watermelon, who doesn't like watermelon? Watermelon's having a moment too. I've always liked watermelon. It's in. It's one of the main notes in Dolce & Gabbana La Imputrice number three, which a lot of people get sick of. That was always my summer go-to, I love that one. I've always been a big fan of Bath & Body Works Watermelon Lemonade. They have new packaging this year. They have this one every summer. I would grab this at the sale. This is another one that goes really good with it. It's just watermelon, watermelon and lemon. It's not that intense, this one, compared to some of the others, but it goes really good with that watermelon. Just wanna say real quick, if you're liking this, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're still not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you can get more of me in your feed. Then Paris Corner has in this, I think it's the Teskine collection, they have peach. This opens with peach and cardamom. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of started to remind me of Peach's Revenge, kind of with the peach and the cardamom. This isn't as complex as that. This doesn't go through as many stages. I need to wear this fully. I just kind of tested it, I didn't, give it a full run, but it does have heliotrope and cognac and jasmine, and there is a base of sandalwood, benzoin, cashmere, vanilla, tonka bean, labdanum and patchouli, which sounds stinking good. But that peach cardamom really was ringing a bell, and if it gets a little creamier like that, is a chance this is gonna go kind of peach's revenge. With the peach, I ordered peach bellini. They didn't have it in the store. So I ordered the Bath and Body Works Peach Bellini to go with it thinking that would be really fun, like peach and champagne. So we'll see. We'll see if it goes with this, with the cardamom. And if this does go in the direction of Peach's Revenge, I actually don't think that's a good combination. One's very light and vibrant and the other one is going for more dynamic, kind of a little bit of sweet and spicy kind of thing. So juicy and spicy, I should say. So yeah, maybe not. This one, I was really excited about because I have the Paris Corner Car, which is the pistachio perfume, the, the Car Pistachio. This is the Car Fusion, and I was really excited. Now I heard that this is like reminiscent of the Kayali Lychee perfume. Now I haven't bought the last few releases from Kayali because I just kind of, I, I just, I don't know, after a few bad ones, I was like, okay, I'm kind of done. And I've really, really liked the dupes better that I've just kind of gone that route the last few releases where they performed better, the dupes, and there's certainly a better price that that's what I did. So this one, I love, I mean, I love this. It is black currant, red apple, lychee, Italian lemon on the top in the mid is jasmine, Jasmine Samba, Candied Violet, Damask Rose, in a base of Sandalwood, Cedarwood, Musk, and Vanilla. I, also, I just love this color in this bottle. I think it's pretty. Some people don't like it. I really like it. It is juicy, fruit, sweet. You're definitely getting that like tart apple, but it's a sweet, more of a sweet apple than tart. It is sweet and tart but more sweet, definitely more translucent, juicy. This one is delicious. It opens a little, almost like slightly plasticky, but it lasts like five minutes and then it just kind of blossoms really nicely. So I wouldn't stress about that. This one is delicious and it really is a pretty good dupe for the Kayali. Then with the Fusion, the combo I was doing was with this. This is Luminous. Luminous, and again, it's with this weird crisscrossed collection here, and it was in the 75% off bin. It's red currant, gilded iris, and praline and amber. It is so good. I can't even put into words because it's not as gourmand as that sounds with the praline. The praline gives it this creamy, sweet. I, I had gotten this on my hand while in the store and was just so like swooning over it and was like, okay, that. I turned back around and was like, that's coming home with me. I have way too much Bath & Body Works, but that's coming home with me because it was so sexy, seductive, creamy. Creamy red fruits with this praline coming, kind of like the way praline is in La Nuit Tresor, that kind of praline, how the praline is in there with the strawberry and the berry. 
Ooh, this would go great with Lanui Tresor also. Holy cow, yes. And then the last one I have here is the same collection, this Taskian collection by Paris Corner. And this one is Marina. Now I didn't think I was gonna like this one as much. I really do. This one is tropical orange and grapefruit with lily of the valley, which is a very watery kind of flower, jasmine and peach in a musk black currant base. This one is definitely, well, Marina, the name Marina. It definitely has a more aquatic berry fruits, peachy berry kind of juice. Like a, yeah, like a, like a translucent juice, very aquatic kind of feeling about it. Um, really going to be nice on hot days because it has that wet kind of feel to it. And because of the citrus and the refreshingness that I paired with the Clementine, uh, Calypso Clementine, it's Clementines and Nectarines and Woods. So this like citrusy burst here really goes nicely with this citrusy berry kind of burst. I, I found them to go really well together. Longevity is adequate on these. It's going to give you your day. This is not like a beast mode kind of a thing. Um, and I think the peach was on sale too at Aroma Concepts. I got those four at Aroma Concepts. Um, and I do have a discount code with them too now, Greta 10. So you can save on those um, Arabian perfumes there too. These are some fun juicy ones. Do you like the juicy fragrances too? Like I love juicy fruits in the summer. Like it just makes me happy. It's refreshing. It feels good. It feels girly. It's like guilty pleasures. I just love it. And these are some great affordable fragrances. Even the commodity is pretty affordable for niche. It's definitely on the lower end price wise, which is really kind of nice. So tell me some of your favorites and tell me some new ones that um, I should try. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.